And peace is the desire to have his butt up in the air, true? Again, what if that infidel, that idolater, doesn't want to pay the jizya, nor put his butt up in the air, but wants to continue believing that Jesus Christ is his Lord and Savior and the Son of God? What then? Does he then end up like those Christians and Jews you are ignoring in Quran 929? I bet you won't touch Quran 929, will you? Hey, anyone who is viewing this, check out Quran 929. Kind of shows you what would await those who are averse, quote, averse, unquote, to doing five times a day, every day, for the rest of their lives, a button ear. Don't you think? But which army general will ever tell his soldiers that if the army soldiers want peace during a battle, don't just let them go free, but also escort them to a place of security? But what general will tell his soldiers to kill Christians and Jews, well, people of the book, as described in Quran 929? Are you going to go there? Do you dare go there? That is exactly what Allah as SWT says in the glorious Quran to promote peace in the world. Yeah. Because if everyone is a Muslim, it's Dar al Islam. If there is a place where people aren't sticking their asses into the air, they are in Dar al Harb. And there can't be peace in the world until, they're, until they are putting their asses in the air, huh? But you can't honestly answer here because in Islam, war is deceit. See al Taqiyya, which is created due to Quran 6106 and 328, which allow a Muslim to lie. It must be unfortunate for you that once again you are refuted. Am I refuted? We'll leave that up to our viewers, won't we, sir? Won't we? The fact that you failed to quote verse 6 of chapter 9 is a giveaway. Oh, really? Well, I'll quote it now and show our viewers that Quran 9 6, 9 chapter 6, uh, 9 chapter, uh, chapter 9, uh, cap, that Quran chapter 9, verse 6, isn't very comforting at all. Okay? Here it goes. This is it. This is from Yusuf Ali. Um, if one among the monks of pagans ask thee for asylum, grant it to him, so that he may hear the word of Allah. Uh, my response? But what if he uh, doesn't want to hear the word of Allah? Then it's, and then escort him to where he can be secure. That is because there are men without knowledge. What if they are men with knowledge? Then treat them the way Muslims are told to treat them, treat idolaters in Quran 9, 1 through 5? This is a pickful version of Quran 9, one, uh, Quran 9, verse 6. And if any one of the, if any one of the idolaters seek thy protection, O Muhammad, then protect him so that he may hear the word of Allah. But what if he wants to hear the Injil, the gospel, that is all about Jesus going to the cross for the sins of the world, rather than the Quran saying Jesus wasn't crucified and didn't go to the cross? What then? Treat him like you do to those. I, those uh, the idolaters in Quran 9, 1 through 5, in Quran 9, 29? And afterward, convey him to his place of safety. That is because there are folk who know not. Know not what? Because if they knew, you as Muslims would have to treat them like you did to those in Quran 9, 1 through 5, in Quran 9, 29. And, and this is Shakir. And if one of the idolaters seek protection from you, grant him protection till he hears the word of Allah. Till he hears, then you are to slay him after he hears the word of Allah? But what if he becomes a Muslim? Then you aren't supposed to treat him like you are commanded to, to do with those idolaters in Quran 9, 1 through 5, Leslie following the ways of their forefathers, true? Or Quran 9, 29, just for being Christians and Jews, people of the book, true? Speaking about Quran 9, 29, how come you aren't, uh, well, how come you are ignoring that? Okay, I'll continue. And then make him attain his place of safety. This is because there are people who do not know. Do not know 
If they were to find out what you did to Christians and Jews in Quran 9.29, would you have to treat them like you do to those idolaters in Quran 9, 1 through 5? Well, I quoted them. How does Quran 9.6 bring justice to the incredible evil of Quran 9, 1 through 5? How does it bring justice, sir? Oh, again, I'll ask you again. How does it make null and void the great evil of Quran 9, 1 through 5? Yep. Yep. I'm listening. I'm all, we're all listening. Yep. It doesn't. Right. It doesn't. And again, how come you're avoiding Quran 929? It was perfectly fine for you to keep on accusing me of avoiding Quran 96, yet when I point out Quran 929, you continue to keep on ignoring me. Kind of a double standard here, huh? Yes. You don't want to go there for sure, do you, Chetty? No, I don't. Because... Because it, it proves that I... I worship in this item. That's right. It's proof, all right. By the way, have you ever read Quran 7, 3 through, 3 through 5? No, I, I heard about it. I don't want to read it. I can imagine you wouldn't. You'd be crying a lot more right now, I bet. It proves that I do worship in this item. It proves I'm sorry for calling you liar. Apology accepted. My, I, I'm so sorry for worshiping this item. You were right, Ramat. You were right. 